Hello, and today we will be explaining the history of jazz, and this will be part one of three of our video series on this topic by the UUA San Ramon Valley chapter. First off, an overview of jazz music. Jazz originated in the early 1900s, and it was developed by African-American communities located in Louisiana and New Orleans. Jazz music was influenced by styles such as blues and ragtime. It also incorporated styles from African and European cultures. Jazz is commonly played by soloists, not so much by bands or orchestras. Nobody really knows where the term jazz originated from. However, one popular speculation is that it was used, first used as a term in baseball that meant fighting spirit. First off, we will discuss some famous jazz saxophonists. One such was a young man named Charlie Parker. He died at a very young age of 35, and he was a leading bet pop figure in jazz and was famous for his technique and amazing tone. And that's a picture of Charlie Parker as shown above. Next is John Coltrane. Widely regarded as the top three jazz saxophonists, Coltrane was famous for his notoriously difficult standard giant steps. And lastly um, is Sonny Rollins. He was another prolific jazz saxophonist. Sonny Rollins is the only living saxophonist currently that was prominent in the golden age of jazz. Now we'll be moving on to some famous jazz trumpeters. First off, Louis Armstrong. He was skilled at singing in addition to playing the trumpet. He also composed many famous tunes, such as When the Saints Go Marching In. And here's his picture above playing the trumpet. Next, we have Dizzy Gillespie. One of the all-time greats, Gillespie was a skilled composer and musician and composed the well-known tune A Night in Tunisia. And here's a picture of him up as well. And last but not least, we have Miles Davis, who started off as a protege of Charlie Parker, but soon grew to be the greatest jazz trumpetist of all time. He composed famous tunes such as Four and So What. And, and we also are going to discuss about some famous jazz pianists. One such is Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock is one of the most prolific jazz pianist and has composed thousands of famous tunes, such as Chameleon and Watermelon Man. Additionally, there's a man named Telulius Monk. Monk was famous for his unorthodox playing style and was the composer of the famous tunes like Blue Monk and Well You Needn't. Finally, we have Duke Ellington. Duke Ellington was the leader of one of the most famous jazz orchestras. Ellington was a pioneer of early jazz ideas and styles. Now we'll be moving on to some other famous jazz musicians, and these would include bassists, guitarists, and drummers. First off, Diego Reinhardt. Diego Reinhardt was one of the greatest guitarists within jazz and the composer of the tune Newages, and his picture of playing the guitar is above. Following that, we have Charles Mingus, who was a bassist. He was one of the most innovative jazz composers slash bassists of all time. And his unorthodox tune, Monin, is one of the all-time classics. And lastly, Max Roach. He's regarded as one of the best jazz drummers and was a part of the influential Clifford Brown Quartet that recorded Joy Spring. And then we're going to talk about some well-known jazz songs, such as Take Five by Dave Brubeck, recorded in 1959, Autumn Leaves by Joseph Cosma, recorded in 1945, Four by Miles Davis, recorded in 1954, Giant Steps by John Coltrane in 1960, Take a Train, Take the A Train by Billy Strayhorn in 1939, and finally Blue Blossom by Kelly Durham, recorded in 1963. And now we'll watch a short clip on Giant Steps. Here are some of the main uh, motifs were his simpler melody, but his extremely fast solo with many chord changes.
here we have Dave Brubeck's famous take five. <laughs> And lastly, we have a clip of Louis Armstrong singing, What a Wonderful World. I see trees of green. I see them blue for me and you. And I think to myself, What a wonderful world. Thank you for watching.